Hey, this is Arliss and welcome to one of the first of many, many, many videos that Bryce and I endeavor to bring to you on a regular basis, either directly from the field, short, uncut, impromptu clips that uh, basically serve to entertain and longer, more refined stories, product reviews and demonstrations where we can run it through our editing process and get rid of all the dead space and stuff that you don't want to watch. So today I'd like to take the opportunity since we brought home a couple pike uh, last night to talk about filleting knives. So I have three filleting knives here that were each either handcrafted or supervised by a gentleman named Ed Storch from Manville, Alberta. And Ed is one of the most knowledgeable and respected knife makers in the country. And I'm not just saying that because he's my father-in-law. Yes, I did indeed marry his daughter. And this is the knife that he made for us for our, our wedding gift. And it's got the inscription of our wedding day. And honey, no, I don't have to look at the knife. No, it's November 13th, 1999. But uh, there it is. This knife here has filleted hundreds and hundreds of fish over the years. The second knife here was built by Tyler, my son. And it's got a nice uh, black Kydex sheath. What I want to do today is compare the um, utility of this kind of standard thickness blade. It's at 0 0.07. When I saw Ed at Christmas time, he asked me to um, take this knife, which is almost half the thickness. 0.04. Much thinner blade, uh, much more flexible, and we'll see if, how that plays. I'm gonna skin each of these two jacks and um, we'll come with each knife and see what we see. By the way, I don't like bones in my fish. filleting session ever but um, there's no denying the sharpness of a storch knife did a very good job on those uh, medium-sized pike uh, there's no deflection or I mean it's, it's it's held true to its shape even though I was putting a lot of pressure on it when I was taking the fillets off of the hide but I think with a, th a thinner blade like this you uh, it's harder to control the end of it you know as you're running it over the, the, the backbone and uh, under the skin um, maybe it's just me not being used to a thinner blade like this but a, a thicker one that I am used to the um, you know you kind of have a good idea of where you're at on the tip of your blade if it's a really wide fish yeah it certainly works it certainly did the job uh, I could see it being quite helpful for smaller fish with uh, you know thinner bone structures so another beautiful knife by by Ed Storch if you're ever interested in building yourself a filleting knife or a skinning knife or a kitchen knife, a chef's knife, um, maybe you even want to build like a throwing knife or a, a sword. I mean, if it's got a blade, Ed knows how to make it and he is more than happy to teach you. He puts on several courses per year and all you need to do is reach out through his uh, website or one of his social media channels. So thanks for watching. Uh, that's a wrap and I'm going to go and throw those fillets in the freezer for separate tonight.